Hey everyone, it's Cassie and welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making some birthday cards, but we're making them with some Taylor Expression stamps. And I haven't used this beauty yet. This one's called the If Cats Could Talk. It is red rubber. I don't always use red rubber, but I'll show you how we can make that work. And then I have the Simple Strips Meow. We also have the Puppy Love Layering Stencil. I'll show you how that works because that's pretty cool. We have an array of papers and other products, so let's just jump right into it. I had already stamped out all of the cats using some ink on three blackout ink onto some Express It cardstock, so I am going to use my alcohol markers. And then I'm gonna show you how we use the face. Now, the face on this stamp set comes all together, and I suppose you could leave it like that, but this is my stamp, and so I'm going to cut it apart. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it apart because I just figured this was the easiest way, to be honest with you, I didn't look up to see how you could use it by keeping it together. So I'm just gonna snip them all apart, and that way I can have each little face that I need. I've picked out three little faces, and I am going to just stamp you know, randomly on these, and it's actually not that hard. Even though this is red rubber and you cannot see through it, I'm just going to stamp it, just center it down in there, and it's not so bad. Now, they're not all perfect or perfectly lined up, but they work for me. If that is something that bothers you and you want them all completely perfectly lined up, you could use a stamp positioning tool to stamp it out on a piece of paper and then tack down yours where it would line up underneath, if that makes any sense. Or you could use like a stamp -a jig That's an old school way to line up red rubber stamps. But this is working fine for me. Now that I've cut them apart, I can easily stamp their little faces in there. And we are none the wiser, so it works. It's great. All right, if you know me and you've followed me at all, you know I will color these little cats as Siamese. I'm gonna color just two of these just to show you. Um, and I'm gonna color them like mine, obviously. <laughs> so this first one will be Max. I put down a wash of E81, that was my first color. My second color will be E84, that's for his little markings on his face and his paws and his tail and his ears. And I'm using flicking motions mostly around his face. And then I'm gonna bring in some E87 just to add a little bit darker. Once that's on there in all the places that I want it to be, then I'm going to come in with that E84 again, and we're going to blend that out. So I like to work lightest to darkest and then work my way backwards. And then once that's all blended in, we're going to move on and use the E81 one more time and blend out his face just a little bit more. All right, now we're going to move on to the next one. This is Miles. <laughs> Miles is my blue point. Max is my seal point, so Miles is a blue point, and it mostly just means that he has more of a silver face. But I did use the same base color, which was the E81, and then now I'm coming in with some W4. In my playing around with colors, I have found that that actually works really well. W4, and then my darker color will be W6 to make a blue point Siamese. So now W6, it's the same process as before, just using different colors. And then I'm gonna color all of these the same way, just between these two different colored cats so that I'll have a max and a miles on every card. Because I'm making a total of four cards. I am in desperate need of birthday cards, or in this case, birthday cards. <laughs> all right, so now that those are done, I'll bring in just a little bit of pink for their noses and ears, and then we're gonna go ahead and trim all these out using the matching dye that came with it. I will say I wish this die or this uh, set had come with other dies to, to cut out the other little images that are in the set, but this is perfect and it cuts it out just beautifully. Check him out. All right, now we're gonna do a little more stamping. I'm gonna pull out the insides of my Misty because this is the Simple Strips and if you've never heard of those, these are awesome. It will give you a bunch, and I didn't even count them, a bunch of sentiments, but it's all by stamping just the one. So I've used my magic powder bag over the top of this cardstock that is measures four and a half inches and then more than six inches. So if you want it to match perfectly, it'd be four and a half by six inches. And then I'm going to stamp out that out using some juicy embossing ink. And then I'm going to cover this with some Alabaster Sparkle Embossing Powder by Brutus Monroe. So it's basically their white embossing powder, which is my favorite, but this has little bits of sparkle in it, so it'll have some shine to it. So I'll just cover that. 
And uh, the magic powder bag did a pretty good job of making sure that I didn't have any areas where powder might stick to outside of just where I wanted the stamped image. And then I'm going to heat set this till that is smooth and melted. And then we're going to do it again with the red cardstock that I have cut there. Using my magic powder bag, sweep away the excess, and then ink up my stamp using that juicy embossing ink. I decided on red and blue because my cats <laughs> have red and blue for their uh, collars. Max is blue, Miles is red. All right, and then once again, covering that with that alabaster sparkle embossing powder. So, so pretty. Now I will tell you when I used the dye on this, because there is a dye that goes with it, and this is what makes it so cool, uh, I did have some user error, and I'll show it to you. I think it had something to do with my die cutting machine, but here is the die. It's going to cut out all of those sentiments all at once, which is what makes this this stamp and die so cool. That's why you also wanted to make sure that you stamped out the little squares. If you thought that was weird, that's why, because it uses that to line all the, uh, or to line the die up over the top of it. So I ran that through my die cutting machine, and mine is a Gemini, so I'm not sure if that had something to do with it, but when it got towards the bottom, it didn't cut some of those out very clearly. Now it was lined up perfectly at first, but I know that my Gemini uses a lot of pressure. And so it had issues with both the red and the blue. But I did want to show you this. This is the Simple Strips Storage, and I have this one marked as Meow, because I also have the Simple Strips Crafty. Uh, and th this is how cool that is. It has a little carrier for all of your little sentiments. So that way you've got them all put into one area and whatever you need, you can just sift through and find. Uh, I have some from a previous stamping session that I did. So those are all in there. I'm just pulling out the ones that I plan to keep and the ones that I'm going to have to toss because they didn't cut out perfectly. Uh, but again, I think that was either user error or just my machine. It's it. The plates are warping a little bit and I do need to replace those, so that could be part of it. All right, so and now I just line those up in there. I've pulled out a few that I wanna use, but now it's time to do some stenciling with that Puppy Love layering stencil. There are two parts to it, and this is just a guide that I have. It also has those little squares on the edges and I have marked those, so that way I can put my paper in between and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, my card bases are going to be some Nina Desert Storm cardstock that were cut to five and a half inches and scored at four and a quarter. So this is how it is. I have little marks where each of the edges of my card should go and also the little blue squares where the stencils will line up over the top of that. And you wouldn't need to worry about it if all you wanted were the puppy feet or if all you wanted were the hearts, but this will ensure that when you put down your little feet, your little paws, uh, you'll have them all stenciled great and then you can put the hearts and they will all stencil in between. I want to do some masking, so I thought that would be kind of neat. Instead of using the entire stencil, I wanted to mask off parts of it, so I'm only using part of the stencil. So it'll keep this as a fairly low profile card, but still pack quite a punch. So I'm just using some heavy tape to mark off that part of the stencil, and then I'm going to pull out some Gur ink by Simon Hurley Create, along with one of my Blender Buddies, and I will just blend some of that Gur ink right over the top of those paws. And then I'm actually going to do this for all four of the backgrounds, but I'm going to do some different things with those. Um, some of them will be diagonal, some of them will be more horizontal. So here's what I'm talking about. I'm lining that next heart stencil up over the top of those little squares. We're going to tape that down and in place. And then I'm going to pull out some Nouveau Glimmer Paste. For this one, I'm using some Sapphire Blue. So I'll, I'll grab that heavy tape again and just go over the top of that so I'm masking it. And then I'm going to use sapphire blue and I'm also using garnet red for the, other, uh, for the other ones. But this is the sapphire blue. I'm just going to use a palette knife and scrape that all across. As soon as I have that all where I need it to, I am going to instantly take this to the sink to make sure that I get that good and cleaned off because this stuff will dry on there and it is like cement when it does dry. <laughs> so cleaning up our mess. And again, I'm stenciling all of them using either this garnet blue or uh, sapphire blue or garnet red. And here they are. And then isn't it so appropriate that the boys will come and take a look. So there's Miles checking out my progress. He's my, he's my little quality control. 
Uh, and then I'm going to pull out some simple, or these are some scrapbook adhesive foam strips. These go perfectly behind the sentiments. And I'll just trim down what I need, but otherwise they'll go all over that back, all over the back of those sentiments. And then I'm going to use a T ruler to make sure that I get them down straight. I'll use the blue sentiments. Those will go over the top of the garnet red hearts. But yeah, using that T ruler and Max's assistance, <laughs> I'll get these all lined up on there. Oh, Max. And Miles. Now he's in there too. My quality control. <laughs> so I am going to put some foam tape on the back of my little kitties as well. And I'll put those down. This first one, I wasn't paying attention to their tails. I will have to trim off their tails just to make that straight. This one, I don't do that. I will leave him just as he is and I'll stick him off to the edge. But I was kind of playing around with it. The next one, so I've put down Max. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to trim off Miles' tail. And that way it won't be so... Yeah, it'll fit this way. Which is no big deal. You can still tell it's him. Peel off the release paper and then I'll stick him down. And I'll do that for all the other three cards as well. And then I'm going to stamp on the inside because I do have four little kittens left. And we're just going to kind of mix and match. We'll just grab one, trying to use a different face than I did for the others. And I'll glue that down on the inside because I do want to have something on there. And then I'm going to grab the stamp that says Smile from our If Cats Could Talk and stamp that on the inside. And then as a final bit of embellishment, I do grab out some buttons galore and more. These are the sweethearts. All I did was grab out the white ones. This particular blend has red, pink, and white. If it is still available, I'll have it linked down below. If not, I'll try to find an alternative for you. But I'm going to do that for all four, just putting some little hearts up there. And when I'm done with that, that's going to finish off all four of our birthday cards. So if you liked this video, I would love it if you hit the like button. And I would sure love it if you would consider subscribing. I typically have three to four videos a week, and I'd love to have you around. So thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.